But I feel that the greatest destroyer of peace today is abortion. Because Jesus said, if you receive a little child, you receive me. So every abortion is the denial of receiving Jesus, is the neglect of receiving Jesus. against the child, a direct killing of the innocent child, murder by the mother herself. And if we accept that the mother can kill even her own child, how can we tell other people not to kill one another? How do we persuade a woman not to have an abortion? As always, we must pursue her with love and we remind ourselves that love means to be willing to give until it hurts. Jesus gave even his life to love us. So the mother who is thinking of abortion should be helped to love, that is, to give until it hurts, her plans, her free time, to respect the life of her child. For the child is the greatest gift of God to the family because it has been created to love and to be loved. The father of that child, however, he must also give until it hurts. By abortion, the mother does not learn to love, but kills even her own child to solve her problems. And by abortion, the father is told that he does not have to take any responsibility at all for the child. He has brought into the world that, so that father is likely to put other women into the same trouble. So abortion just leads to more abortion. Any country that accepts abortion is not teaching its people to love one another but to use any violence to get what they want. This is why the greatest destroyer of love and peace is abortion. The big beautiful gift God has given our congregation is to fight abortion by adoption. We have given all the, we have given already from one house in Calcutta over 3,000 children in adoption. And I can't tell you what joy, what love, what peace those children have brought into those families. It has been a real gift of God for them and for us. I remember one of the little ones got very sick. So I sent for the father and the mother and I asked them, please give me back the sick child. I will give you a healthy one. And the father looked at me and said, Mother Teresa, take my life first, then take the child. So beautiful to see it, so much love, so much joy that little one has brought into that family. So pray for us that we continue this beautiful gift. And also I offer you, since our sisters are here, anybody who doesn't want the child, please give it to me. I, will, I want the child. <laughs> 